The duplicate view command can greatly simplify the process of creating dynamic displays. Since our transactions page will contain three alternate views of the transaction list, this is the perfect opportunity to try out this approach. When alternate views contain multiple widgets, it's always best to contain them in sections. To do this with our list of transactions, we'll select the entire list, control click, and choose wrap in section. With our section created, now we can create the duplicate views. Just control click and choose add view, duplicate view. We'll do this one more time to create a third alternate view. Giving our views descriptive names will make the configuration of our switch views actions much easier. With the alternate views named appropriately and the by date view selected as the default view, we can now edit the contents of our two duplicate views. In our merchants view, we'll change the transaction amounts to whole numbers. In our category view, we'll change the merchants to categories and again change the amounts to whole numbers. Switching between the different views will be accomplished by interacting with the segmented control eye block. Assuming we already downloaded the eye block, we can expand the widget panel and drag the eye block directly onto the page. After we've positioned the eye block where we want it and resized it so it spans the width of the page, we can change the labels. Our three labels will be all, merchant, and category. Now we're ready to add our switch views actions. Each of our switch views actions will open one of the three alternate views in our dynamic display. We'll use a slide transition, but this time we'll choose one of the right to left options instead of up and down. To speed up this process, we can copy and paste our initial switch views action by pressing Command C and then Command V twice. Then all we need to do is double click each copy and change the view. We'll also label each canvas widget so we can identify it more easily. Since the reviewer will interact with the segmented control eye block to switch between the alternate views, we'll connect all three switch views actions to the eye block. So the simulation knows which view to display, we'll take advantage of the eye block's custom triggers. To change the trigger for any page action in iRise, control click the blue navigation line and choose the desired trigger from the Move To submenu. In this case, we'll choose the on-label click triggers. That should be all we need to configure our dynamic display. Let's test our results. The page loads with the All Transactions view displayed, and clicking the Merchant and Category tabs in the segmented control switch to the respective views.